Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scoop and welcome to the Dive Brief. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to change your mast strap. Not just because it's a fairly essential skill, but because we're seeing more and more of these elastic bungee style straps that are actually fairly universal. I can never say completely universal because nothing is 100% universal, but they're made to fit a lot of different mask styles. So in being able to safely remove your old strap without damaging it and then fitting the new one. Yeah, let's dive straight in. So the first thing you need to do is to remove any of the retainers. So the retainers basically hold that extra excess bit of the silicone mask strap from flapping around during the dive. On this mask here, I just have an old O-ring that's holding it because the old uh, retainer broke. Um, but you just wanna be kind of gentle with silicone straps, gentle but consistent. If you just yank on them and stretch them too much in one particular area, they can just shear straight through. So you do have to be quite careful. The way I tend to do it is to apply a, an even pressure throughout the entire strap. And then if I'm finding a bit of resistance, then just kind of tease it downwards in one direction, just so that you can get the corner through and then continue because you will have a chunky section of that silicone strap towards the end, a kind of stopper to stop it from going through that retainer it will fit just be sort of fairly gentle and consistent don't be too forceful and if you come across something that's really stuck you can use a little bit of silicone grease but don't go too crazy a little goes a long way and if you get it over the entire strap you won't be able to grab hold of it at all so a small amount then what you need to do is you need to access the uh, the buckle system. So you'll either have some kind of lift or push tab, a single button or a double button. Most mask buckles are fairly similar. You tend to have some kind of mechanism that allows part of it to release. So um, it opens up this ratchet style and then pull it until it stops. Now, again, this is why the stopper is there, so it doesn't just pull straight through accidentally, but now we want it to get through. Just apply a constant amount of uh, sort of force and then kind of pull it downwards in one direction and then eventually you'll, you'll be able to slip it through. If you're gonna put the same style of silicone mask strap back on, it's basically the reverse of that. However, this can be a little fiddly depending on the buckle style. Sometimes, because it's a soft silicone material, it folds in on itself, the very tip when you go to push it back through the buckle. Um, so I like to keep a small flathead screwdriver or like a really small Allen key around just to help me like hook it through the buckle. You're basically looking for a, um, a cylindrical barrel on the inside of the buckle. That's what you're hooking it around. So what you need to do is make sure that the mask strap is the right way around. So the ratchet strap will be on the inside, the smooth side facing outwards. And you're pushing the tip behind that barrel and then you're trying to angle it back towards the back of the mask if you can. In this case, I can't. So it can be a little bit fiddly, but if you hold the uh, the mechanism open, use that flathead screwdriver, you can just hook the tip of that mask strap through. And then with a little bit of luck, you can sort of keep pushing it forwards and then eventually you'll get the tip coming through that buckle and then you can adjust it to length and then put that retainer back in similar, just push the tip through and then give it a, a, a firm but even tug so it gets into position. If you're replacing your mask strap with one of these newer elastic material straps, a lot of the universal ones nowadays, they have this sort of plastic hook design that is meant to wrap over that barrel, that cylindrical section on the inside of your um, of your mask buckle. Do be sure to double check how uh, sort of wide it is. This one, for example, is I think is about 14 millimeters. If I just double check, and so this one's about 16 and a half millimeters wide. So you want to make sure that the buckle um, can actually fit that. In this case, it will. And um, with this, you want the hook so that the hook turns inwards and the hole is kind of on the inside uh, facing your cheek. And all you're basically doing is lining it up with the, uh, the hole and then you just push it to uh, until it clicks. And then 
it's fitted to your mask. So these are very quick. Um, this one, for example, this is the Aqualung Fast Strap. The fast in the name suggests how quickly it is to fit to, uh, to your mask. But that's basically it. And then that uh, sort of sits in your mask. You have the, uh, the buckle that you can sort of slide left and right to adjust it uh, to length. But otherwise, that is your, um, your new elastic bungee strap fitted to your mask. And that's how to replace your mask strap and even upgrade it for one of the newer elastic fabric straps that are becoming so popular nowadays. Um, let me know if you like these new style straps, whether you think they're going to become more and more common down in the comment section below. Um, this strap uh, is going to be available on our website, simplyscuba.com. I'm going to pop a link down in the description below. I'm going to put a couple in there because there's, there's one from Fourth Element that's a similar design, a bit more eco-friendly and slightly different designs. Um, but yeah, these are definitely becoming more and more mainstream just figure that i do a video for you just to show how easy it is to clip them onto your mask uh thank you for watching everybody and of course safe diving <laughs>